Good evening, I'm Emily Flores. And I'm Don Hudson, thank you for joining us. We wanna begin with developing news this hour. Police are still investigating after a dangerous chase through multiple cities in Salt Lake County that ended in a deadly shooting. And police just released the name of the suspect involved here, 37 year old Harold Vincent Robinson of West Valley City. Yes, police say it all started with an armed robbery at a Taylorsville Holiday Oil gas station, followed by an armed robbery at a 7-Eleven in Mill Creek. Then shots fired in downtown Salt Lake City at 115 West and 500 South. Witnesses saying they saw the suspect fire shots towards the Matheson Courthouse. This all before a lengthy police chase that all came to an end at 3300 South State Street in South Salt Lake. As we mentioned, we have team coverage of the deadly shooting. ABC 4's Rosie Nguyen is live where the chase began, but we want to begin with ABC 4's Sarah Martin. Who's in li live in downtown Salt Lake City. Good evening to you, Sarah. Good evening, guys. Police and witnesses say that Robinson was driving a beat up white truck and that he stopped right here in this intersection. He didn't actually fire at the courthouse or at cars around him, but started firing into the air. That first armed robbery in Taylorsville was called in at 10.06, the second in Mill Creek, 10.37. And by 10.42, Robinson is right here in this intersection, completely stopped and firing again into the air. Witnesses described him as a white man, tall and thin. They used the word scruffy looking. He stopped in the middle of the road, fired into the air. At this point, witnesses say police were not here yet. They were not following him, but quickly pursued. Alyssa Swart was a single car length behind the man when he started firing. She called police and was able to give them his plate number. I thought, what's going on? And then next thing I know, he's out of his car shooting in the air. Cars that were on the right of me started just going through the intersection really quick to get away. Robinson continued down State Street and, quote, just fired indiscriminately throughout the city. The police chased him to about 3300 South, where that ended with a crash and a significant amount of gunfire. Rosie Nguyen is there live with details. Rosie. Sarah, this is where that four and a half mile police chase came to an end. Numerous people told us that they heard gunshots and saw the police chase unfold all along State Street. Investigators confirmed the suspect was shot and killed by police. Multiple agencies stepped in to help take this suspect down. Chief Mike Brown with the Salt Lake City Police Department says the suspect was leaning out the window of their car and firing shots from their rifle at police. He estimates there are as many as 15 different scenes throughout the city. Normally, police will call off a chase if it might endanger the public. But in this case, the chief says they just couldn't. It was discussed on the radio, but uh, I think the threat outweighed uh, the, the stopping this pursuit at this time. And the threat was just the fact that he was just firing shots. Armed with a rifle, firing it indiscriminately through the city. Horrific. Investigators say one officer from Unified Police Department was hit by a ricocheted bullet, but luckily they only suffered minor injuries. Sheriff Rosie Rivera credits the collaboration from all the agencies for the success in taking this suspect down. At this time, police say there is no ongoing threat to the public, but as they continue to conduct their investigation throughout the day, we will continue to see a heavy police presence in this area of 3300 South and State Street. Coming up at six o'clock, we'll hear from a witness who saw that suspect pull out their gun from their window moments before they were shot and killed by police. Reporting live in South Salt Lake, Rosie Nguyen, ABC4 News. Just an incredible story here today. ABC4 News will bring you the latest developments from this deadly shooting as soon as we learn it, both here on air during our newscast and online anytime at ABC4.com.